Naming things after living people has long been tricky business. Think about how our perceptions of some very popular people has shifted with new information. On the flip side though, part of the purpose is to let the living enjoy the honor while they can. Odell Berry City wants him to experience that. Odell Berry on the New York 48. When I would go to my friend's house, they would talk about, well, your dad played for the Denver Broncos. What's that like? Or your dad was the mayor of the city, the mayor of our city growing up. You know, he started as the Northland Rex Department, and then he became city councilman, and then he became mayor. My father was city council and the mayor of basically an all-white neighborhood. And he was an African American. I could count on, on one hand how many African Americans were in our communities. But that did not matter to him. His what was important to him was to raise the community. His son had mentioned, like, we definitely want to be able to um, have something that's lasting. Right here, it's going to be a park, they tell us. I went back to the dice board and I, you know, I said, hey, we have got to get something in the city named after him. <laughs> you know, we got to beautify it a little more here. But just to have a place that has his name on it in his town, in his city. And then Barry streaks straight down the sidelines for a touchdown. Who was Odell Barry? Was he just a football player for the Denver Broncos? Was he just the mayor? No. He was so many more things, and this will give us that legacy. So when I'm gone, my kids are gone, this will still be here. And that's what's important to, to our family.